Hey, I'm Nelson Harris, and uh, thank you for supporting the Historical Society of Western Virginia and Link Museum during this time of social distancing. My pleasure to share with you uh, again something interesting about the Roanoke Valley and the history of it during World War II based on research I did for my book, The Roanoke Valley in the 1940s. In 1942, the federal government quietly began buying land outside of Knoxville, Tennessee. The land that they bought, they created into a small community called Oak Ridge. It later became uh, nicknamed the Secret City or the Atomic City. The reason they bought that land was to create a military installation that would be a part of the Manhattan Project, which of course created ultimately the atomic bombs that were dropped on Japan that many historians credit now with ending World War II. What's the Roanoke connection? Well, in the fall of 1943, Virginia Bridge and Iron Company here in Roanoke was given a secret military contract. And they were asked to create a variety of pieces of steel in differing shapes that were then sent by train to Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Now, part of what they were doing were creating parts for what were called Bailey Bridges that were used by American and British troops uh, during the war. And so these were bridges that could be created quickly uh, to help troops uh, move and, and navigate terrain. What Virginia Bridge and Iron did not know was that a part of the steel pieces that they were manufacturing were actually to be incorporated into the atomic bomb. In fact, the federal government used a variety of vendors and manufacturers to craft various parts of the atomic bomb so that no one company or corporation would really know what was going on. So secretive was the Manhattan Project. And so only after World War II did the companies that manufactured parts for the atomic bomb become informed as to their role in that project. One supervisor at the Virginia Bridge and Iron Company was actually awarded a medal that said Manhattan Project because he was the liaison between Virginia Bridge and Iron Company and what was going on in Oak Ridge, Tennessee, though he had no idea that it was in regards to an atomic bomb. And so, only after the war did it become evident and did it become public knowledge that Virginia Bridge and Iron Company here in Roanoke played a part. Virginia Bridge and Iron began the war with 30 welders working one shift. At the height of the war, that company had 300 welders working around the clock six days a week. And so that's a little bit of Roanoke history regarding World War II and specifically the Manhattan Project and the part Virginia Bridge and Iron played in the atomic bomb. I'm Nelson Harris and I hope you've enjoyed this bit of history about the Roanoke Valley. Thank you always for supporting the Historical Society of Western Virginia and the Link Museum. See you next time.